What is up, you guys? We are back today with another video. This one is a post from the Neville Sub called How I Manifested My Perfect Life in Eight Months. So here we go. I replied to a comment recently and I got a lot of questions in my DMs are so full, let's talk about it. And they got a link to their previous post here. So the usual disclaimer, this is what worked for me. If you took a whole different approach to manifesting your new life, that's great. This is the journey I took and it worked for me in a relatively short amount of time. I may give you some tough love throughout this post because I needed tough love when I started out my journey. I had hit rock bottom. I did not want to live that life anymore. I did not want to be that person anymore. I did not want that to be my story. I was being a victim and had lost control over my life. I was a single struggling mom that was absolutely heartbroken over a man. Mental health issues, financial issues. I hated every aspect of my life and I hated the person I was. I didn't even know where to begin to change. It was overwhelming. Where do you even start when you literally want to change everything about yourself and your life? First, you have to get to a place where you're fed up with how you're living. Throw away the old story completely. This is exactly what I talk about in my greatest comeback video. Throw it out and light that bitch on fire and burn it to the ground. Make the commitment to never speak or think about it again. It doesn't exist, period. I don't care about how you have no money or you're a virgin or you were cheated on or you can't get out of bed or you have no car and you have to walk to work in the snow and cold. Leave all your excuses behind. The only person standing in the way of your dream life is you. Nobody else has control over your life. Take responsibility for it and make the commitment to do whatever it takes to change. Step one is to make the decision right here and now that you're going to get where you wanna be and you're not going to stop until you get there. We call it brazen impudence. You manifested this shit show and you can manifest your way out of it. I don't wanna hear any excuses as to why you can't do this. Change the way you think or stay the same for the rest of your life. You pick. Both options are hard, so choose your hard. I talk about this all the time. Pick your hard, man. Do you want, do you want to sit on the bed dwelling? Woe is me. Why is my life so hard? Don't get me wrong. I've done it. I feel for you. When you're at rock bottom like this, it's not a fun place to be at. But what do you want? Do you want a hard life in the future because you sat on your ass and you didn't do anything about it and all you did was accept this negative story, this story that you kept telling yourself? Or do you want to pick the hard of getting up off your ass and doing something about it? Secondly, you have to know what it is you want. So many people, and, and part of getting up off your ass is like, guys, doing the stuff we talk about, actually working on your self-concept, actually robotically affirming, actually seeing and writing down who, and journaling who is this person that you want to become. I could, talk, I could say this stuff until I'm blue in the face. Until you actually do it, it's not going to make a change. You can think about it for a few minutes here or there, watch a video. You're getting dopamine hits from watching these videos. Get off YouTube and go and write, write it down. So many people have asked me what affirmations I use, what I visualize, what meditations I use, what job I have, what city I live in, etc. Look, this is your life. My perfect life is different than yours. What I visualize that makes me happy is different than what you would visualize for your perfect life. Pick a scene that speaks to you. One thing, one that evokes strong feelings in you. It has to be in the first person. I, I disagree. I think it can be the first person or the third person. I've gotten results from both. I think doing results of both is actually the best. And Michael Phelps talks about this. That's what he does. He, imag he imagines himself in the stands, seeing himself winning. He imagines himself first person, seeing himself winning. And he also imagines himself losing. He also imagines, what if things don't go right and perfect? You gotta imagine all these different scenarios and then choose the one. Do an imagination sandwich is what I'm gonna coin the phrase right now. Imagine yourself winning from the first person. Imagine yourself not getting the result from the first person. What does that look like? What does that feel like? And then imagine yourself in the third person winning again so that you reinforce that idea of you winning. What does it look like to the people that are watching you? What does your body language look like? What does your tonality look like? What does your eye contact look like? Are you strong? Are you coming from that place of inner confidence and inner knowing? You gotta, fig you gotta imagine that stuff. You gotta figure that stuff out for yourself. What does that look like so that you, because when you know what it looks like, that's how you can tap into it. That's how you can do it. And it's, it's so true in athletics. If you can't see yourself performing the thing, you're not gonna be able to do it. It starts in the mind. It's a mindset. So if you don't know exactly what you want or where you're going to, or where you're going to manifest something, that's half-assed. So get out a sheet of paper and write exactly what you want. <laughs> it's funny that I just said that. 
So in detail, no wishy-washy. Well, maybe I want to live in Africa and live with the giraffes and do rain dances, or maybe I want to live in Antarctica and an igloo and go ice fishing. Pick a story and stick with it. Know exactly what type of life you want to lead and know exactly what kind of person you want to be. When people ask you about your new life, you should be quick to give them all the details with no hesitation. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Confidence. Ingrain yourself with confidence. I live in Africa. I hang out with giraffes in my spare time. I won a rain dance competition last week. Hell yeah. Third, step into this new life. You should be getting pre to pre prepared to go live in Africa. What kind of a person lives there? Start learning the language. Start rain dancing in the morning. If you want to move out of your house by a specific date, start packing. When I manifested buying my condo and everyone was telling me to give up and I was getting outbid like crazy and we were in the middle of a housing crisis, I said, I don't care. I'm packing anyways. I reserved the U-Haul. I bought boxes. I was packing before I even bought the condo. Live your new life as best as you can. I wanted a new job where I could work my for myself and make my own hours. What kind of person has that job? She's probably super disciplined and has a morning routine and drinks smoothies and does yoga. Hell yeah, that's the type of woman that I want. So that's what I did. If you want a new car, pretend you're driving that new car every time you go to work. Manifesting is supposed to be fun. Remember when we were kids and we had such a vivid imagination and we pretended to be princesses or Robin Hood? I want you to create this amazing fun life and I want you to fake it until you make it. It's fun. If you're not having fun, you're doing it wrong. Again, finding the fun in life. That's what I was talking to Naya about in our interview last week. You can literally be whoever you wanna be. Isn't that exciting? You can change your entire personality if you want to. Literally, there are no limits. Fourth, techniques don't work by themselves and they don't matter. They only help you get the belief. They only help you arrive to that state of consciousness. The brain is tricky. It's comfortable living the old story. It doesn't wanna let go of it. For whatever reason, you like comfort, don't you? I just put out a video on this. It's so easy. That's what we want as human beings. We chase after comfort. <sighs> it's comfortable living the old story that you don't want to let go of it. For whatever reason, the brain likes to wallow in self-pity and negativity because it's comfortable doing what's, what it's been doing its entire life. It's easier to stay the same than it is to change. You're literally fighting with your new brain when you manifest. Fighting with your brain when you manifest. The techniques help to rewire the brain. So whatever helps you live in the new story, then do it. For me, I did all of it because I wanted to change everything in a short amount of time. Meditation, sats, mental diet, affirmations, manifestation journal, character technique. Do it all or don't do any of it. It doesn't matter. You could do affirmations all day, but if you're still in the state of being a victim, that's what you're going to get. There's no magic affirmation or scene to visualize. The entire cheat code of manifesting is to change the state of being you are in. And if you don't know what that means, it's this. When someone tells you that you live in Missouri, your immediate thought should be, um, no, I live in Africa. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> you are in Barbados. And before anyone comes for me, I said, immediate thought. I'm asking you to be delusional, but not so delulu that people are going to put you in the loony bin for trying to build African tiki huts in the streets of Missouri. Acknowledge the 3D, but also acknowledge it's temporary and not real. It holds no power over you. Fifth, don't get discouraged. It's about progress, not perfection. You can still manifest without doing things perfectly, but if you wanna be a master manifester, it's about training your brain. Stop being a sloppy thinker. <laughs> Stop being a sloppy thinker. I love, I love the way that's phrased. Be aware of your thoughts at all times. And this takes discipline. <laughs> it takes discipline, guys. Neville himself says, discipline, discipline, discipline the mind. Practice makes perfect. I highly suggest meditating as it gets you used to controlling your thoughts. Also, if you're the type of person that gets overwhelmed easily, I would suggest manifesting one thing at a time instead of all at once. Again, this is your manifestation journey. Do whatever helps you feel like you're already living your perfect life. If y'all have any other questions, let me know. Please go back to my, my older post before you ask me questions as some of them are redundant. Remember that manifestation is always an ongoing process. You're never going to be done. It's constantly leveling up. So be patient again and have fun doing it. Love this post. People spend too much time looking for techniques instead of just diving in and being easy. It, is it easy? Not always, but you do it day after day and you get there every time. Keep up the amazing work. You are an inspiration to us all. So I'll read a couple more comments and wrap it up here. Let's see what we got. Another powerful manifesting story is about Jim Carrey. If you haven't heard him talk about how he manifested his life, look him up on YouTube. The man wrote a check for $10 million for acting services rendered. He used the Napoleon Hill technique, kept it around in his wallet, looked at it every day. He dated it 
for around Thanksgiving three years in the future. He went to the rich part of town and looked at all the houses when he was struggling at, when he was a struggling actor and said, I'm not going to live in fear or I'm, I'm going to live there. He also cut out his toxic girlfriend who was just shitting on him all the time and telling him that he wasn't that he wasn't good enough. I mean, staying in a relationship where somebody is putting you down all the time and devaluing your worth is it's absolutely going to ruin whatever manifesting power that you have. Okay, guys. So like, first and foremost, I, I'm talking about this a lot lately, but monitor who's around you monitor the people that, that you're keeping company with what type of people they are. And you know, if they're not if they're not helping you, if they're not raising your vibration, so to speak, if they're if they're constantly putting you down and devaluing you, then get out of that. And that's what Jim Carrey did. He, it wouldn't have worked if it would have, if he would have stayed with that woman who was just constantly devaluing him. So three years later, shortly before Thanksgiving, he received ten million dollars for the Dumb and Dumber movie. It freaking works. I remember hearing that story before, and it's amazing. It's like you see all these stories of people creating their reality, and yet somehow people still don't believe. The proof's all around you. It really is all around you guys. It really is. And I talk about this a lot too. It's like the action thing, you know, you take action. Jim Carrey went to the comedy club every every night, I think, or, or most nights a week. He would go there and perform, even though people weren't laughing at his jokes. You, you gotta go and put in the reps. Tim Grimes, who I just interviewed recently, he's he's put out a bunch of books. He's got a bunch of books on Amazon to the point where he became a best-selling author within the stress management, uh, stress relief niche, right? And he told me straight up, he told me this part off camera that sometimes he just sits down and hunkers down and starts doing the work. He doesn't always take inspired action. You gotta take action. You gotta discipline your mind. You gotta discipline your body, discipline yourself, okay? <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, another great post. You know, it just goes to show that this woman who was absolutely rock bottom, um, you know, got out of this, uh, looks like an abusive relationship here and you know absolutely took control took the reins on her life and it's inspiring to see that guys it's so inspiring to see you have the power within you stuff i talk about all the time you know i, I want to encourage you guys to look look for look for that and 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 do these exercises i'm talking about get in touch with that get in touch with your own inner power and stop seeking external validation from the 3d from other people around you because again even if you want to even if you want to do that and base your things on evidence which is really not what this community is about it's all about your inner inner awareness you're not filling your own cup you got to fill your own cup and when you do that you will notice that it overflows and people can't resist to be around you and your energy because that what is more attractive than that is somebody that fills their own cups fills themselves with positive emotions and goes after uh, their life with a tenacity and with a courageous spirit and everybody everybody loves that everybody loves authenticity they don't like people that are constantly seeking validation it's it's a turnoff and you know it's easier said than done don't get me wrong i'm not here to uh rain on anybody's parade or bag on anybody it's a it's a process guys and again be gentle with yourself allow yourself to gently uh, shift your attention gently start going through these uh this process and come out the other side guys it'll be well worth it and you'll be you'll be on well on that path to becoming the best version of yourself that self-actualized version of yourself who's confident and who who's, knows their own power and who walks with that spirit and and is an attractive force and is a positive source for others around them Anyways, guys, with that being said, much love as always. Drop me a like, hit me with a comment, let me know what you thought about this down below. Hit me with a subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.